are busting out of here today. Is this chair supposed to do this? Okay, I'm here and right one's all settled in. So, we learned a new favorite movie, didn't we? You like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Yeah, that's a fun movie. You really like it a lot, don't you? You don't even like looking in that direction lately, but you will for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. You're doing good. You got your head midline. You're trying hard to watch it. We are busting out of here today. Huh. You want to get out of here, Raylan? You want to get some regular clothes on in a little bit? Yeah, I think you can ride in the ambulance in your regular clothes. Mommy got you something new. Pick this up. Hey, do you like this? You're like, don't show me. You don't want me to bug you? I got you this. It says, love naps. And it has a big panda because you like pandas. She's like, go away. I'm watching my movie. All right, I'll leave you. I'll show it to you later. Do you like it? You don't want to talk about it right now? Later. Later you'll like it. Maybe it's soft and stretchy. She loves Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Excuse our mess. So this is what happens when you're in hospital. You get a bag. There's a bag and a bag. A bag and a bag and a bag. Some bags and bags. But Daddy's coming to help us get stuff moved over and get some of these bags back home. We don't need this many. Are you trying to watch your movie? Are you telling me to be quiet? I'll be quiet. You're all right. Going up. We're going somewhere fun. Raylan, mommy hears you. Yeah, we're going for a ride. I hear you. It's all right. Is this chair supposed to do this? Yep. Nice. All so right. Rock back and forth. And to deal with the bounces. Yeah, it's an air ride seat. Pretty sweet. So you have a bu bunch of uh, buttons on the side, on your left side, to so adjust everything. Well, that's pretty fancy schmancy. Hey, if you don't like the swing forward and backwards, here's a little lever. We'll just pretend we're on a ride. Sounds great. Here, They're talking about you. RH arrived. What you think? We're gonna get you in your bed. So today Raylan is moving to the rehab facility to step down and a transition to our home. So I am on the way to the hospital to help them move over there. Raylan has actually already moved, uh, but, but my job is to go to the hospital and get all of her stuff. <laughs> you tell me you're scared. You tell me you're you think and it's gonna be kind of a long day for me because uh, I'm not staying the night with Raylan tonight uh, Abby's gonna to continue to stay with her so I get to drive to st. Louis uh, help them move things over and then drive back home <laughs> so long day and I know it's hard Glad Raylan is doing so well. She's able to be moved out of the hospital, so that's good. So this is all her stuff. I got to figure out how to get down to the car easily. <laughs> kind of awkward. At least I don't need to figure out how to get a suitcase too. <laughs> Just this stuff. Wherever you're going, I'm going to. I'll follow you through the black and the blue. Whatever the mountain. 
come to the next Honey, I'm with you through life and to death And now we go to the new place. So as I've said before, this is kind of like a transitional hospital. Uh, kind of like rehab. Uh, not quite the same, but kind of like that. Where um, she can get some additional care uh, without being in the hospital, which she, she really doesn't need to be in the hospital because she's doing fine. Um, but getting additional care, extra hands helping us out um, while we transition to bring her back home. Which, honestly, we're really happy that this is a possibility right now because... Uh, since she's been having really bad diarrhea, um, it takes two people to change her right now. So that would mean that the both of us would always need to be home. Of course, we have some nursing help, but other than that, anytime we don't have a nurse at home, both of us would need to be there so that we could just change her. Um, so we're, we're, we're glad that while she's uh, kind of recovering from surgery even more, that this is a possibility. So we're happy about that. We don't think she's going to be there very long, maybe a week or two. Uh, and originally, we thought up to like four or five weeks, but she's doing so good that we really think she's going to be able to come home in about a, a week or two. Okay, I'm here and Raylan's all settled in. Uh, she's doing pretty good, although right now she's in just a little bit of pain. How are we doing, Raylan? How are we doing? Feeling pretty good, but just a little bad. Hmm. She's been doing pretty good. We just gave her a little bit more pain meds just in case. Because she was grimacing a little bit and acting like she wanted something. So just gave her a little bit of Valium. But this is a nice big room. She's got a lot of space here uh, compared to a hospital room. <laughs> uh, hospital rooms are so tiny. But here we have lots of space for equipment and for um, Hoyer lifts. We're going to test that out a little bit. She's using a modified wheelchair so that it's much easier to get in and out of it and we use a lift to get her in and out of that. But yeah, this is where Raylan will be for at least, probably at least a week, maybe more, we'll see. Nice big room. And I've never seen a pulse ox like this before. This is different. I've never seen one like this. Nope. They brought you a fun light globe, do you see it? You see your fun light globe? Do you like it? It's fun, Raven. It's fun. Raylan, I'm gonna go, sweetie. Oh, Daddy, bye. I'm gonna go. Mommy's gonna stay with you, okay? Bye, sweetie. Good night. I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you tell me you're nervous. You say you're afraid. I wish you could see that. I think you're brave.